mixer. And only women showed up. See? He tried to tell you. He tried to scream it at you. He tried to say it nicely. He tried to dress it up. He tried to put a Tom Ford suit on it. Nobody wanted to listen. Nobody wanted to listen. But here's the outcome. This is the outcome. Look at this, this is sad. Beautiful young lady, beautiful. In a room full of other young ladies, single, at a singles mixer by themselves. Are you serious? But it's what's happening. You said you didn't want a man that was under six feet. You said you didn't want a man that didn't make six figures. They heard you and they're acting accordingly. You're not spending money to go to a mixer. The, the only man in there is the waiter. Look at that. The only man in there is the waiter. And he, he's just getting paid to be there. Homeboy's like, yep, this is a sad event. Who set this up? Look at that. This woman's playing on her phone. She ain't got nothing better to do. Where all the men at? What she's saying in her head. It's crazy. So I did a little research and I found out that this is in Dallas. And I was just talking about Dallas and, and the, the high number of singles, single women in the market at Dallas. But man, if they had just took a second to really think about where the men were that they want, they would have known. And look at those two. Those two are sitting up there by themselves. They would have known they weren't in the bar together. The bar, this bar. These two sitting up there together having a conversation. And they looking at them like, yo, I know we about to go viral on this one. I know we about to go viral. But it's a sad state of affairs that you got a bar full of women at a singles night. Let's see the sign. I want to see the sign here. It says singles night, date night. There it is. What does that sign say? Date, dating night. Wow. They play, had the nerve to play the Tyrese music in the background. <laughs> Have I told you I love you? <laughs> they trying to set up a romantic environment. You got a room full of single women or outside patio full of single women. Now, you know, the. A guy like me, I'm thinking, hey, how can I get over there and find where these women are at? Because I told you, <laughs> I told you, it ain't a notion. But even behind her, there's women behind her that are sitting at tables by themselves. Like that one, it looked like that, this one woman right here. Oh my gosh, she's sitting there at the table by herself. Looked like she's setting up another table for her, her potential date. Like she's waiting on somebody to come. Nobody's coming. The men have left the chat. In a lot of ways, this is a sign of things to come. It's really sad when you really look at it. You look at how many of them got into their, they got into their nicest skirts and dresses just to sit out there and twiddle their thumbs. Sit out there and look cute for each other. Because how many times do men go to bars and clubs and women are rejecting them, laughing and giggling with their girls? That, that would be the only issue in this room. Is that either it's gonna be a, a mad stampede for the one man that walks in, or <laughs> they're gonna turn them down one, and one by one. They're gonna take turns turning them down. Because they're like, we don't want y'all to come out to these events and try to talk to us. We just want y'all to act like we're the most important thing in the room and then reject all the energy that you're giving us. This is shocking. Look at that one chick moving furniture. She like, yo, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta look busy here. I gotta, I gotta do something. <laughs> On dating night. Looks like a nice little establishment too. The weather's nice, everybody's like chilling. You ask where the men are. Well, I'm gonna tell you a lot of men are 
probably don't have the money to go out because of what's happening in this economy. It's not being talked about. A lot of men are choosing to stay in because they they don't want to go out and waste their time. Now, I mean, this would be like shooting fish in a barrel for, for somebody like me, but the average man, he's gonna walk in there, he was not six foot, not six two, who ain't making six figures. Nah, I think I think even he could have a shot in this room. Well, they look, they look white around the mouth, yo. <laughs> it, this, this is, uh, this is, yeah, they ready. <laughs> Any man that walks in there probably could walk out with something. I mean, but this is what I was describing about Dallas. I was like, you know, it was, I noticed just in the couple of weeks I was there, I was like, there's so many single women here for some reason. And they, they seem professional. They seem like they're career oriented. But for some reason, the men uh, were not around. It doesn't look like necessarily a turn up, turn up event. But, you know, you expect at least an adult working male population to be out, but I'm gonna tell you, most of the guys there probably got multiple options and they already with them for the night. So these women are kinda, unfortunately, leftovers. But man, did Kevin Samuels try to tell us what was gonna happen? And nobody wanted to listen. What they wanna do? They wanted to spit on his grave. They wanna celebrate his death because he was trying to talk to you because he was trying to get through to you. Unfortunately, this is the result. And, um, we got a lot of work to do. Because the more this, this plays on the loop, the sadder it gets. Man. Anyway, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. This is Fawcett Media. Hit the bell notification for all uploads, and I'll catch you on the next one.